Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. The Jets are back home in MetLife Stadium and on a presentation of ESPN Monday Night Football take on the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee is having a tough season, especially seeing the strength of their roster. Marcus Mariota and the passing attack have sputtered a bit this season, with the receivers having a little trouble catching the ball. Many feel that could be the reason why they sit at 3-4 and four on the season. The strength of this team is the defense, though, having veterans like Jarrell Casey, Jeffrey Simmons, and newcomer Samuel Collins on the line has given them a lot of strength in the running game. And veterans like Adoree Jackson and Kevin Byard in the secondary make the passing defense very strong. The only issue is that they don't have a great deal of depth, and we'll have to see if that has a tendency to hurt them in a bit. I know the rushing attack of the Jets will be put to the test again this week and need a big game tonight considering their dismal performance last week against a defensive line that they should have been able to move the ball against. Will New York be able to establish a run or will they need to depend on Sam Darnold's arm to make a difference this week? Let's get set for the Titans and the Jets on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Former Jet Geo Cheeks is back in the end zone, and Trent Lyon gets us underway here in East Rutherford. The ball is fielded at the 8, and up the hash marks all the way to the 34 goes Cheeks, and Marcus Mariota brings him out on the field. Only one interception on the season. And he is playing an absolutely wonderful game right now. The pass complete over the middle to Corey Davis, the seven-year veteran out of Western Michigan. He doesn't move the chain, so on second and inches, the pass is dropped. The rookie, William Calhoun, drops the football. And here is a look at your starting lineup for the offense of the Titans. Davis, James, and Humphreys are the targets that Mariota will be looking for. And over the middle, and it's dropped. Corey Davis drops the gimme pass that would have been a first down. And now Sam Darnold and the Jets offense comes out on the field. Eight interceptions. That is something that they have been trying to work with him on. He's just having a little trouble seeing the defensive backs as he's letting go of the football. Second and seven. And the screen pass out to Jackson. Makes a move inside and gets to the 35-yard line for a first down. Here's the starting lineup for the defense of the Titans. Simmons, Collins, and Casey are going to make it extremely difficult for the running game, yeah, at least on the interior anyway. And you saw the, the defensive backfield, and it is a strong one. Means takes down... Jackson for a one-yard loss, bringing up third and eight. Darnold back to pass, throws, caught. Dawson Knox with the short reception and has the first down out to the 49. On second and 12, Ross over the middle to the 41 of the Titans. And Jacobs picks up the first down to the 39. Darnold out of the shotgun. The handoff to Jackson. He has room around the right side and gets to the 31 for an eight yard pickup. The handoff goes to Jacobs. He has the first down to the 29. And on third and 10. The pass over the middle intended for Herndon gets knocked away by Milano. And that will bring out Trent Lyon for a 46-yard field goal. And it's up and is drifting. Oh, it hits 
the upright on the left side, and it's no good. Mariota and company take over at the 36. Hill is taken down by Demarcus Faulkner, only able to get a one-yard gain out of it. The pass to Davis is blown up in the backfield by Julian Love. The pass this time. Oh, and it's intercepted. Robert Ramirez going down the left sideline and into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. His third interception of the season, and the scoring starts out with a pick six. You see there on the replay that James is trying to catch him, but <laughs> that is just no match whatsoever. Calhoun showing off some speed at the end of that run, but he is not able to catch him. And the score is seven to nothing. Hill, the deep back. And up the middle goes Hill, and he has the first down all the way out to the 42 yard line. And that's gonna bring the first quarter to an end with your score seven to nothing. Jets. Mariota gives off to Hill again, and he's taken down in the backfield by Chris Gonzalez. Faulkner comes on the blitz, and Hill is taken down in the backfield. So now third and 18. Mariota completes it over the middle to Jesse James, but nowhere near the first down yardage. Fourth and 10, and the punt upcoming. Darnold, under center, backpedaling, looking for Jackson, hits him on the screen, and gets all the way out to the 33, and not quite enough for the first down. And Wesco picks it up without a problem. 35 yard line, first down, Jets. Now it's second and eight. Out of the eye formation. Up the middle. Jacobs is out in the open. The 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jets. The blocking was phenomenal on that play. The shakeup that they had in the offensive line must have done some good. Jeremy Irons coming all the way from that left guard position to make the block and free up Jacobs all the way into the end zone. And Hardman is now going all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. Ramirez in chase, but he just can't get to him. The speed of Hardman catching that ball behind the defense and it just carries him all the way into the end zone. 14 to 7 is now your score. Jack Jennings sends it to the 8 yard line where Howard fields it and heads left. It makes a nice cut and is out to the 40 yard line. I'll tell you if he would have had one more block, he could have made it the distance. And there goes. Jacobs on a familiar play, and he does not get the same result. First and 10, though, and Jackson up the middle. Takes it to the 43-yard line of the Titans, and that takes us to the two-minute warning. Out of the eye formation. Jacobs takes it for the first down to the 39. Oh, Man, did he get robbed. That should have been at least the 36-yard line. And Arsenal catches that one on the slant pattern and is all the way down to the 12. 58 seconds left in the first half. And Herndon gets spun around and is out of bounds at the 13. Darnold back to pass. And throws it complete, but Knox is tackled at the 11, bringing out Trent Lyon. 
for a 28-yard field goal, and it's up and good, 17-7. And that will take us into halftime. This recently revamped O-line of the Jets is just dominating what would seem to be a superior defensive line of the Titans. Now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. It looks as if this is a game of the big play tonight. A pick six, a 63-yard run, and a 75-yard pass have all led to a 17-7 halftime lead for New York. Somehow, against a very strong D-line, the Jets are finding room to run. What an interesting development. In other action, yesterday, Buffalo scored late in the game to send Baltimore home with a loss and, more importantly, not up every team in the AFC North at 4-4 four and four at the midseason point. The Jets' next opponent, the Patriots, got upset by the Texans. So if the Jets can come out of this game with a win, it could make next week's contest a battle for the lead in the AFC East. A special note is that the Saints are the only unbeaten team in the NFL. Halfway through the season, they're now at 8-0. Here in East Rutherford, the Jets are controlling this game for now. Can the Titans find a way to slow down this run offense of the Jets? Or will this be a long second half for them? Stay with us to find out because we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium for second half coverage between the Jets and the Titans. The Jets lead in tonight's contest 17-7 behind a solid running attack, keeping the Titans off the field. Somehow, Tennessee really needs to find a way to stop the Jets from staying on the field because it's showing already in the fatigue of the defense. Has the Tennessee coaching staff made the necessary changes? Let's find out as the second half gets underway. The Jets start out the second half just outside the 28 yard line. Jackson in the backfield. He gets the handoff and gets out to the 33 yard line for a five yard pickup. Third and five, Darnold back to pass, throws complete to Herndon. He has the first down at the 46. Darnold takes it from under center, drops back, throws over the middle into Titan territory to Chris Herndon at the 48. Now up the middle goes Jackson, falls forward, and he gets the first down at the 43. Again, Jackson up the middle, taking it to the 39 for a five-yard pickup. Now third and five, Darnold alone in the backfield, throws, and it's broken up by Kevin Byard. That brings on Lyon, a 55-yard attempt, and it's off to the left and no good. So the Titans take over at the 45-yard line. And on second and 10. The pass is complete to Davis inside Jet territory down to the 41. Out of the I formation. Hill takes it to the right side, is out in the open, and he's all the way into the end zone with Ja'Kai Polite in tow. He just can't catch him, and the perimeter was just wide open for Hill to run down. Adams saw something late, and you could see him try to take off and go after Hill, but he was just too late, and now it's 17-14, just three points separating these teams, and... Jeffrey Simmons is down and being escorted back to the locker room. This could be even worse for the Titan defense. Second and five. And that one is a first down. Jackson taking it to the 37. Now on third and eight. The screen pass is sniffed out. Rookie cornerback Wyatt Sanders takes down Jackson for a two-yard loss. 
And that gives the Titans back the football. And Little comes on the blitz and stops Hill before he can ever get started. This one is a first down to Humphreys as he is tackled by May. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. The Jets still have a three-point lead. And Cashman gets to Mariota in the backfield all the way back at the 22-yard line, bringing up second and 20. Mariota now back to pass and completes this one to Hardman out at the 35, bringing up third and eight. Again, the pass goes up the middle and hides way over the head of Jesse James. Mariota airmailing that one. And the ball is now back in the possession of the Jets. Donald moving around in the backfield, gets it out to Howard at the 45 yard line for a first down. Now Jackson. On the counter play, takes it left, has the first down. No, they're going to mark him just shy, third and inches, and it's picked up by Jacobs. And Jarrell Casey is down and injured. Oh, being escorted to the locker room. This is a second devastating blow for the Titan defense. Second and seven, Darnold throws over the middle, complete to Ross, into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. 40 yards to pay dirt, and I know that Ross has been a little disgruntled lately because he hasn't been getting the ball nearly as much as he would like, but with results like that, it's hard to be disappointed. Now Mariota. From the 32, back to pass, complete. Hardman being tackled at the 47-yard line. His third reception, 102 yards because of that long touchdown. But Mariota with all day to throw it. The long pass is batted in the air, and Marcus May comes down with it still on his feet. And out past the 15 to the 16-yard line. His third interception of the season. So him and Ramirez both with three on the season so far. Mariota trying to find something deep. Throws for Kelly Davis. Ramirez gets a hand in there, pops it up. And Marcus May comes down with it. That will give the Jets... Another opportunity here, already 24 to 14. The pass this time is intercepted. Mike Hilton all the way into the end zone, no. He's taken down by Shropshire at the two yard line. And Darnold just didn't put enough air under that. All Hilton had to do was jump up and grab it out of the air before it got to its intended target, which was Terry McLaurin. And the Titans are now in a position to take this back to a three-point lead for the Jets. And Little again breaks through the middle and tackles Hill at the three-yard line. Mariota working out of the eye, fakes it to Hill. Play action into the end zone. Touchdown, but there's a flag on the play. Oh, my goodness. It's holding on Joshua Johnson. And that's going to take it all the way back to the 13-yard line. Hill is tackled by Brian Poole at the 13-yard line. And that brings out... Jack Jennings for a 30-yard field goal, and it's up and good. Score is now 24-17 at the two-minute warning. Jackson in the backfield. The handoff goes to Jackson, and he's up the middle 
to the 31 and Samuel Collins is down but he is on the sideline seems to be okay Darnold working out of the shotgun fields the high pitch and Jackson has got the first down to the 40 yard line a minute 48 seconds and Jackson takes it out past the 45 to the 46 second and four and he does not get the first down but the Titans are now out of timeouts Jacobs cannot get to the first down so the Jets are going to have to punt the ball but they only leave 16 seconds left on the clock for Mariota to throw it deep working out of the shotgun Mariota drops back throws over the middle to Jesse James what was that the time runs out and Tennessee didn't even give themselves a chance to make the throw downfield and the game ends 24-17 in favor of the Jets. Well, what looked like a solid walkaway victory for the Jets at halftime turned into quite the show. Tennessee made a few changes that made a big difference, but the injury of key personnel in the defensive line made it easier for the Jets to establish the run. It didn't hurt that the Jets defense was playing some outstanding football tonight. Almost 100 yards of offense more for the Jets, and look at that rushing total. This was supposed to be a team that was going to stop the Jets dead in their tracks. Well, <laughs> obviously that didn't happen. I would have to go back and look, but I think this is the first game since I've been calling the action for the Jets that they didn't have one penalty during the entire game. And look at the time of possession difference. Well over a 2 to 1 ratio in favor of the men in green. Or should I say black tonight. Oh, and by the way, Jarrell Casey and Jeffrey Simmons, who were injured in the second half, will be out for the next five weeks with dislocated elbows. Oh man, what a blow to the D-line of the already disappointed Titans. Uh, Darnold bounced back from his dismal performance of a week ago and actually outperformed the quarterback on the other side of the field. Jackson and Jacobs combined for over 170 yards on the ground and the number of carries was more in line with what should be seen out of these guys with 23 for the game. I would think that the receiving crew was really unhappy since nobody really dominated the catch category but let's face it if the Jets can turn into a run heavy offense the wideouts won't be catching a lot of passes and that may come to be an issue down the road for the Jets. I'm not sure what happened to Darnold and the O-line, but there was only one sack in the entire game, and Darnold wasn't the one that got sacked. What can I say about the defense's performance? If you look at the stats of the game, the Titans had the numbers, but since they were on the field the vast majority of the game, it's not that hard to see why. I thought it was kind of amazing that the backup free safety Chris Gonzalez was the first Jet on the tackle list. He is the backup sub linebacker behind Jerron Mason. And seeing that Mason spells Adams at strong safety regularly, I guess I'm not surprised to see him at the linebacker spot frequently. I was just a little concerned when Trent Lyon missed two of his field goal opportunities. Then when Ramirez started out the scoring with that pick six, I was breathing a little easier. 
What was also nice to see is that Taj Little playing a solid game, getting in on the tackle action with a stop at the goal line, which really changed the dynamic of the game coming down the stretch, forcing the Titans into a field goal and having to drive the field to tie up the game at the end. And next, the Jets hit the road to face the leader of the AFC East, the New England Patriots. This is New York's first meeting of the season with their rival in Foxborough, and Deshaun Watson has this offense clicking on all cylinders. The D-line is rebuilding at this point, but it looks to have some very good talent developing quickly. The secondary is where they have plenty of talent and experience. Gilmore, Jackson, Evans, and back at strong safety, they were able to sign the free agent Blake Stratton that's proving to be all over the field and one to watch out for. If the Jets can get the run established in this game, Donald may not even have to worry about the secondary, but that's a big if. That's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freak Sports Network. The New York defense did its job today, and the offense played a pretty clean game as well, letting the run make the major dent in the Titans' defense. Will they be able to repeat the performance against a D-line that, on paper anyway, doesn't stack up to the Titan D-line? If they do, then New York has a shot at upsetting the Pats at home. Deshaun Watson is definitely going to be a force that the Jets' defense is going to have to neutralize. But that's easier said than done. Again, the Jets get it done? To find out, be with us for the Jets and the Patriots from Gillette Stadium. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now. And have a good day, everyone.